Hi guys, so today we're gonna show you how to do chunky glitter and then an ombre with half and half on the nails. So we're gonna get to work and show you how to do that. Super cute. Okay, so what we wanna do is we're gonna do the black, which we've showed you guys in another video. Uh, because black can have trouble curing, I don't ever have trouble curing, but we're still going to show you the safest technique so you don't have any issues because we're not sure what lamps or products you're using. So this will just ensure. So what we're going to do is right now we're going to go directly exactly halfway point on the nail. Just where we are going to want the black. And then you're gonna to come to those sides. Okay, I got a little bit on the skin, so we wanna make sure we wipe that off. So we're just gonna use this little tool, get it off, clean it up on a napkin, get everything off. Then for there, we're gonna flash cure this for 15 seconds. Okay, we flash cured for 50, 15 seconds. Now we're gonna come on here and we're just gonna press the color. So the reason you wanna do it this way is it really ensures a really, the tacky layer will give us a real thin coat so that um, the light can penetrate. And we'll come back, 15 seconds. All right, so what we're gonna to wanna to do, I'm gonna clean anything off the skin right now because it's dark. If there's anything I want to get up, I'm going to get it up. Okay. We do have this little tool. Thank you, Diana. So if we have anything there, we can just try to scrape anything out. Okay. All right. So we're going to come back and we want to get our base coat halfway through the nail. And I didn't do a great job explaining, but the reason that we're going to do a flash cure and tap on the color if you're using dark is so that the light can penetrate through the dark color. So we're going to just get the color where we need it. Make sure you get those sides. Then we're gonna flash cure for 15 seconds and come right back. All right, flash cured. So we're gonna come back. Make sure to get that off the skin, okay? And we're just gonna tap the color right on where we flash cure, okay? So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and try to gently wipe off all the extra dust. And if I want to, before we cure it for 60 seconds, I can come in here and clean off anything that I don't want to stick before I cure it. Okay. All right, we're gonna cure it for 60 seconds. All right, we're gonna do our third coat. So this is a dark color, so obviously we'll need to wash the hands. So we're gonna do our last coat. Base coat. Come on here. And then I'm just gonna be really careful. I don't wanna mess up my line. And I don't need to worry about getting too close to the cuticle because it's now at this point, I'm just trying to fill in the color. So I don't need to worry about, if I go too close, I could mess up the cuticles and we don't need that. They're pretty clean right now, besides getting that extra powder off. So right there, 15, we're gonna put in the lamp for 15 seconds, flash cure. All right, now that's flash cured. We're gonna come on here and we're gonna tap the powder on for the last set, the last color. We did three just to make sure it was nice and rich. I'm then going to come here and just gently try to get any of the excess powder off, just real gentle. And if I need to clean anything up, I'm going to clean it up, the skinny side. Oops. Get any of that off, unnecessary. Okay, and now we're going to put it in the lap to cure for a full 60 seconds. All right, so we're going to clean this off. Make sure anything that needs to be off is off on the tip okay so next we're going to turn the finger to the side i'm going to turn your finger this way just a little bit there you go i'm going to go into the next color which is going to be our glitter and i'm going to start this side with just going right around the cuticle side 
because that might be hard to get in there. And then I'm going to finish off on the top with straightening that line right down the middle. Okay. Then from there, we're going to go ahead and put this in the glitter. Place it, press it. Awesome. So then from there, I'm not too worried about the first time. I'm going to use my gentle little brush and I'm going to try to press some of that down. And anything that's coming off, I'm just going to brush it off. Okay. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to move some of that glitter from the cuticles out. And I'm going to press some of that down. And I'm not worried because we're going to do a second set of that glitter. Okay, so anything that's coming off, I'm not going to worry about it. We just want this for placement. Very pretty already. All right, so now we're gonna put this one in the light for 30 seconds. All right, second coat here. Again, so we're gonna start off on this side by the, just to make sure we get the sides. We're only gonna do two coats because the glitter's pretty chunky, so we don't need three. Okay, I'm just gonna gently now create the line all the way to the tip. And we're gonna lay the finger in there. Perfect, right on top of here. And as you can see, there's a lot, so I'm gonna play with it. So I'm gonna press first to see what's gonna lay. Okay, then from there, grab my little guy, the skinny side sure that's my skinny side. Come in, clean up the cuticle so that will fall off. Then I'm going to press down what we're going to keep. This is actually working out really good because there's a cute little star that glows. So I want that on the top. I want this guy over here. I don't know, it seems like a lot of work. But you kind of want to place them where you want them. Okay, and that seems to be a little light. So what I'm going to do, I'm in a little dark. I'm just going to add a little dot right there where I want it. Then I'm going to add a little diamond so that it kind of gives a little more even tone. And I'm going to make sure that little star's standing out because that star glows. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put that in the light for 30 seconds. All right, so this is done. So I'm just going to make sure everything's where I want it to be, which it does look good. I'm going to brush any excess off. Then to secure it, we are going to use our builder gel. This will be good to secure the glitter. So it's a little thick, so I'm going to have to make sure. There you go. I'm going to grab a glob because I do want it to go right over that glitter nicely. So I'm going to try to push more on the glitter to start so I get most of the builder gel over here and I'm going to go to the tip then I'm going to go ahead and try to spread the rest on the other side without getting it on the skin all right so I got it all on now I'm going to brush off a ton off the brush because I want to use this to clean up the sides now because that was a lot. And I want to try to really get in those little crevices on the sides and those little cracks, okay? Then I'm gonna go to the tip and then I'm gonna spread it all to make it even and then even wipe it off if it's too much. Perfect. Even on the other side. This side doesn't have a lot of glitter, so I'm going to wipe off a little more so it's not too, too much. 
Okay, since it's builder gel, we're gonna put this in the light for 60 seconds just to ensure it dries. Okay, so from here, we're gonna finish off. We got our builder gel on, okay, so we're gonna move that over. We're gonna go ahead and go base coat next. Um, and I'm definitely not gonna get on the skin at all because we do have black everywhere, so we wanna make sure that we're really careful because I don't want it, if you touch your, the skin at all, any of that black pigment will actually stay on the skin. So I'm gonna do the base coat, top coat, and then I'm gonna do any cleanup and filing that I need after the top coat. So in the light for 60 seconds. All right, from here, we're gonna go right into top coat. All right, and like I said, we won't have you watch this on film, but I'm gonna do the top coat and then after this, I will do any side filing, any cleanup that I needed. Um, and then I might do another base and top coat, but for now, just to show you, last time in the light. All right, guys, so just to show you, we are all done. So we, this is, hopefully that helps. Uh, we showed you how to do it with a tart, dark color on top of that. So now what we're gonna actually do to finish is we're gonna deep scrub all that dark color off. And then we'll of course show you guys a picture of the end result. Hopefully that was helpful. Have a wonderful day.